Welcome back to the Armory and the second episode of Robots vs. Children, where we pit robots against kids to see who will come out on top. In today's episode, art. Is that still the best domain for humans? Or are robots starting to gain an edge? In the last episode of Robots vs. Children, Herman just beat out Maddie for assembling a Lego unicorn. It was right down to the wire, but Herman won. So that scores one point for Team Robots. Now today, we're gonna to give them both some markers and a picture they've never seen before and see who can color it in the best. The rules for this are gonna be the same as the other competitions. There's gonna be 24 hours to train or program the robot. We're gonna start our training and the competition at the same time. And some outside help is allowed, like a coach on the sidelines. The scoring for this one is gonna be a little bit different though. We're gonna do this based on points. Five points is gonna be given out for how quickly you color the picture. Since art is really subjective, 10 points are gonna be given out based on community feedback. That's gonna be done through a poll on Instagram or Patreon. Competing for team children is Maddie, veteran at these competitions. For Team Robots, we have Russell, the KR-10. One of the first things I need to do is design the end of arm tooling. This is only a 24 hour challenge, so 3D printing time actually becomes really critical. I'm designing the end of arm tooling so that I can stick multiple markers in and it can just pick which one it wants to use. Ideally, you would wanna have some way to drop off and pick up new markers, but there's not enough time for that. How do you think Maddie's gonna to do tomorrow? I think she's gonna do fairly well. She really likes to color and she's been practicing a lot. So I think she's gonna do well. Do you think she's gonna struggle with anything? I think distraction about Russell being right beside her is gonna be an issue just like it was in the Lego challenge just because she's going to want to see what he's doing instead of focusing on her picture, but we've been practicing on that as well. Is there anything that you think gives Maddie an edge? I think her color selection will be her strong suit. She likes to add a lot of colors to the pictures, so I think that will help really brighten the picture and hopefully give her an edge over Russell. For the robot to find the drawing that we're going to work with, we're just using a basic webcam, nothing really fancy. Then we're going to be using the Jetson AGX to do the processing on it so that it can start to pick out the different areas that it needs to be coloring. So I have a lot of the software done already. It'll take the image that it's getting from the camera and pull out all the different white areas that it needs to fill in. Then inside of that, it will take that and basically trace around the outside, then offset it in slightly, trace around the outside over and over again. And you, that's where you get these kind of spiral patterns that move from the outside in. We need to do some really quick camera calibration. All lenses will distort the image somewhat. A fisheye will distort it a lot. A webcam probably won't distort it too much, but enough that a straight line isn't a straight line anymore. The software needs to know how much that's distorted by or else your calculations start to get a little weird when you're trying to measure things inside of the image. So to do that, we're just gonna use a checkerboard. So we'll take lots of different images of the camera pointing at the checkerboard at different angles. The software can then measure the distances between the individual squares and actually get a decent measurement of how much that lens is distorting the image. That's called the intrinsics of the camera. We can start to get some decent measurements of where the individual pieces inside of the drawing are actually going to be, and hopefully the arm can draw it at least more accurately than that. 
Do you think you're going to beat Russell? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because I think I will be faster than him. Have you been practicing your coloring? Yeah. What have you been trying to get better at? Coloring everything. Yeah? Are you getting better at coloring in the lines? Mm-hmm. Do you usually color with markers or crayons? Brown. Do you like lots of colors? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite color? I like all of them. You like all of them? And the whole wide world. That's a lot of colors. How do you think Russell is going to handle this challenge? I think the biggest thing will be getting the camera calibrated accurately, getting Russell to do a lot of points like a lot of points accurately is pretty easy to do, but getting that to line up with the real world in 24 hours is kind of tricky. I think I'm going to run out of time 3D printing stuff too. Do you think Russell has an edge over Maddie in this challenge? I think Russell will be more consistent in how it's drawing, but since getting Russell to choose colors based on the picture is really hard to do, I'm kind of just going to skip it and hope the colors turn out well. So I think what it colors, it will do better, but I don't think it's gonna necessarily pick the right colors that make sense. Do you have any concerns about Russell? No. <laughs> it's just gonna win. It's the morning of the competition and there's about half an hour left before the competition actually starts. Since this took a while to print, and I had to print a second version of it too, since the first one didn't work, this is my first actual test with the robot to see how it colors in. I have my camera mounted here on top, and that's hooked up to the AGX over USB, and then the AGX will dump programs to the KUKA over the network. Unfortunately, since I only have about half an hour, there really isn't much time to fix any of this if there's any sort of problems. So maybe some minor calibration or bug fixes, but that's kind of all I have time for now. Everyone's all trained and programmed. It's time for the competition. Both contestants are set up right beside each other, ready to go. There seems to be some distraction on Maddie's part. Maddie seems to have had some sort of a leg malfunction and fallen off her chair. She's right back up on her chair. That is a dedicated contestant right there. It looks like Maddie's off to an early lead, filling in an entire area. Russell's very consistently working from the outside in, so it's hard to know how far he's actually gotten. She has her tongue of concentration, her special move. And Russell's done first at 10 minutes and five seconds. Maddie does not seem phased. Everybody. 
Maddie's getting every last dot of color in here that she can. And Maddie finishes up at 14 minutes, 10 seconds. And there she goes, showing her art to the crowd. Very happy with what she's done here. Since Russell finished first, he gets a full five points, where Maddie gets 3.56 points. This poll is posted on Instagram and Patreon. If you want to be involved in contests like this in the future, make sure to follow us there. The community was very closely divided on this. 51% to 49 for Russell. For score, Russell gets a full 10 for that as well as he got the highest and Maddie follows very closely behind at 9.7. Team Robots has extended its lead to two. What do you think it's gonna take for children to catch up? If you have any suggestions for other competitions where we should pit robots against children, let me know down in the comment section and we'll try to get to it. If you like these videos and wanna support the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, and consider supporting us on Patreon as well. Robots are awesome, thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay.